हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज प्रोफेसर ए सी जाधव डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर के के वाक कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर बायोटेक्नोलॉजी नाशिक दिस वीडियो इज ओनली फॉर द एजुकेशनल पर्पज एंड नॉट फॉर एनी ऑफ द कमर्शियल यूज इन अ प्रपकेशन ऑन द रूट सिस्टम ऑफ द अदर एज पर द ग्राफ्टिंग द बडिंग इज अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रैक्टिस और इम्पॉर्टेंट मैथड सो दिस लेक्चर इज मेनली बेस्ड ऑन द मैथड्स और द कंसेप्ट ऑफ द बडिंग बडिंग इट इज अगेन वन टाइप ऑफ द ग्राफ्टिंग टेक्निक और द प्रैक्टिस वेर इन ओनली द वन बर्ड विद अ पीस ऑफ बार्क एंड विथ और विदाउट वूड इज यूज एज अ साइन मटेरियल इन अ ग्राफ्टिंग we use the whole stick as a sign material or as a sign while in a budding instead of using the whole stem or the whole stick we use only a single bud as a sign it is also called as a bud grafting technique budding require a same precaution as a grafting generally the deciduous type of the fruits and the shade trees are well suited for the budding techniques or the practice then before going to start our different methods of the budding let's first of all we will discuss how to prepare the root stock and how to prepare the cyan bud for the budding techniques in which first one is a preparation of the root stock root stock can be grown in a field where it will be a budded or the dormant liner like a transparent into the field then allow to grow under a moderate fertility until they reaches the desirable size like a 316 to 716 inches caliper since the budding is generally done less than the 4 inches above the soil surface leaves and the side branches must be removed from this portion of the root stock to create a clean smooth working area to avoid um, to avoid the quickly dulling the knife remove any soil from the root stock where the cut will be made just before actual budding takes place and the stem can be clean by brushing or by rubbing it gently by the hand or with the piece of the soft cloth and definitely the uh, root stock which we can uh, use for the budding technique at the time of the practice it should be under the dormant conditions mm, uh, due to the dormant conditions there is a more accumulation of the food material which helpful for the more success of our technique then how we can prepare the bud wood so the bud wood preparation is again very important one or its selection because our practice success is again depend upon the types of bud and its conditions so in such a type of the preparation of the bud wood the first important thing collect the cyan or the bud wood early in a day while the temperature are cool the plants are still in a uh, turgid condition then the best vegetative bud usually come from the inside canopy of the tree and on a current season growth mature buds are a most desirable and uh, definitely discard the terminal and the younger buds because they are often not that much mature and we doesn't get that much good result when we use such a type of the uh, terminal or the younger buds then uh, bud stick are usually prepared in a cool and a shaded area or remove the leaves but keep the petiole intact to serve as a handle when we insert the bud into the uh, root stock then to keep the bud wood from drying out getting the hot or the freezing which mainly depend upon the climatic condition place it into the plastic bag or wrap it in a moist burlap as it is collected then move to the shaded or the shelter area to prepare the body then the um, cut the stick to convenient length leaving 3 to 6 bud per stick bud stick that will not be used immediately should be bundled and store in a moist retaining containers then such as a plastic bag or any type of the container we may used for storing such type of the bird wood generally the bird wood store for more than the few days should be discarded because it is a very important one that we should use the 
बर्ड वेन इट इज इन अ गुड सैफ्लो कंडीशन और द टर्चिट कंडीशन आफ्टर सर्टन पीरियड ऑफ द टाइम डेफिनेटली देर मे बी द ड्राइंग ऑफ द सायन वूड एंड विच कैन डेक्लाइन अवर सक्सेस पर्सेंट वेन द बर्ड वूड इज टेकन टू द फील्ड इक्वल प्रिकॉशंस अगेन्स्ट द ड्राइंग ऑफ अवर वूड इट शुड बी टेकन देन we will uh, study the different methods of uh, budding there are the many methods in a budding like t budding which is again known as a shield budding and a very important type of the budding practice which are used in many of the fruits and ornamental plants also then patch budding then ring budding cork cut budding uh, flute budding and last one is a cheap budding so one by one we will discuss all these methods number one method is a t budding which is again known as a shield budding so this method is a, as simple as per the name of this uh, technique and mainly the name is because of uh, giving the t shape insertion on the stock and we can remove the bird in the form of the shield t budding must be one when the bark will slip slipping means that when the cut the bark easily lift or peel in one uniform layer from underlying wood without tearing exact time when this condition occur is again depend upon the soil moisture than temperature or the time of the budding it again varies as per the species and the variety which we uh, we can used then uh, this type of the technique is uh, considered as a commercial method of propagation in a citrus then in a apple peaches pear rose etc uh, so we will discuss what are the steps to be taken during the tea budding number 1 that is the preparation of our uh, cyan bud so select the well mature pencil size thick branch as a past season growth having the plumpy bud on the cyan plant then select the healthy vigorous erect going pencil size thickened root stock having 45 to 60 cm height root stock seedling should be in a self flowing condition to ensure the proper union perform the budding operation at 25 to 30 cm from the ground level make 2 to 3 cm long vertical cut followed by the horizontal cut across the top at right angle with a sharp budding knife then remove the bud means remove a plumpy bud from the selected bud stick take out the bud carefully with wood and remove the wood from bud loosen the flap of the bark on stock plant with the help of the budding knife then insert the bud by pushing it downward beneath the bark and hold it in a position then tie the bud with a polythene strip keeping the bud exposed cut off the top portion above the bud union after uh, about 4 to 5 weeks when the union is complete so as per the grafting again in a budding the success of the budding or the success of the technique is depend upon the good cambial com- contact in between the bud wood and the cyan wood so this is about the budding technique these are few of the photographs of budding technique then next one is a patch budding technique patch budding consists of the small bud with a patch of the bark about 0.5 to 1 cm wide over a thick root stock seedling of the one year old at the first patch of the bark it removed from the stem of the root stock uh, seedling and then a patch bud of exactly a same size is removed from the desired variety and then fitted it into the exposed area for the wrapping we will use any type of the polythene film and with the help of these we can tie to protect this bird and the stock seedling uh then our stock seedling is uh, deheaded 
above near about uh, inserted bud in a gradual state this stimulate the sprouting of inserted bud this method has been adopted on a large scale by nursery man in india we may use this type of the techniques in many of the fruit crop and the other crop like a citrus then bear in a rubber etc then the third important method is a ring budding a ring budding which is commercially used in a bear in a peach like a fruit crop so in a ring budding uh, or this uh, method is useful for the small stock of not more than near about 1.5 to 2.5 cm in a diameter this is more or less extension of the fruit budding of the budding the stalk is completely injured and is replaced by the ring containing the bud of cyan budding is done when the plant part are in a saff flowing condition a complete ring of the bark is removed around the stem of the stalk in order um, to form the matrix complete the ring of the cyan with a prominent plumpy healthy bud uh, is removed intact when place on the stalk it extend all around the stalk after placing the ring in a position tie it in a usual manner failure of the bud to unite result in a loss of terminal portion of the stalk about the ring portion so this is again one of the very important techniques in a budding that is the ring budding technique next one is a flute budding this method make the use of ring of tissue at joining the bud relatively the thick bark trees thinner than the 2 to 2.5 cm and in the active stage of the growth is commonly budded by this method this is near about similar with uh, ring method or the ring budding method on the stalk two horizontal cut base about half to 2 inches are made through the bark down in a wood probably between the node but can be extended approximately to a three quarter of a way around the plant parts a vertical cut connect the horizontal cut at both end of the cut and semi circular bark is removed it is placed against the correspondence cut portion of the stalk so this is the um, technique which we can adopt in a flute which is uh, again say uh, similar with the ring but in a flute we doesn't remove the 100% ring of the bark okay so this is commercially used or a uh, important practice which may used in a bear crop for multiplication or propagation next one is a forkard budding so in a forkard budding or this technique is comparatively uh, need more skill to perform in a four cut budding the stalk is prepared by giving the two vertical cut and the transfer cut about the vertical cut to join them the bark is removed carefully along the cut so the flap of the bark hang down as as we can uh, observe in in the below diagram the cyan is prepared in a fashion similar to the patch budding having the size similar to the cut made on the stalk the cyan is then slips into the exposed portion of the stalk and the flap is drawn over the inserted bud patch it is then tied with the suitable wrapping material like the polythene tape after successful growth of the bud the portion of the stalk above the union then removed carefully so this is about the fork cut budding and our last technique or the last method is a cheap budding practice so during the cheap budding practice near about 2 to 3 cm long downward cut is made through the bark and the slightly into the wood of the stalk then the second cut of the about 2.5 cm is made so that uh, it bisect the first cut at an angle of 30 to 50 degree and the chip is removed from the stalk similarly the 
sorry similarly uh, the chip of the bird is removed from the bird wood then the bird chip is inserted into the stock in such a way that the cambium of the bird chip should have a direct contact with the cambium of the stock it is then tightly wrapped in a polythene strip leaving the bird uncovered the bird may sprout after 3 to 4 week and afterward the wrapping material should be removed when bird start growing stock may be the cut above the bird union so this is the cheap budding technique which may be used for the commercial propagation in a mandarin or in a custard apple like a crop so all these are the different methods of the budding which we can use in many of the fruits and other crop like tea budding then ring budding then flute budding patch budding fork cut budding and cheap budding there are again the two similar method as per the tea budding like uh, eye budding and the inverted tea budding all the practice which we can uh, used or follow in a uh, inverted tea or the eye budding practice is exactly similar as per the tea budding only the change that instead of giving the tea alphabet like a cut on a rootstock we make it in a inverted T shape or inverted uh, sorry or the capital I shape cut on the rootstock so this is about the all uh, uh, methods of the budding which we can use thank you thank you very much